Hey guys, it's John of Living Exotics here. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have rat colonies that you breed for your snakes, um, and a lot of you use auto watering systems. Um, some of you guys hook it directly up to the water line, and a lot of you guys use uh, buckets to uh, use the natural gravity feed. Um, but this is a design that I've seen in a few different people's uh, rat colony collections. And I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys as a great idea. Um, so I know a lot of you guys use a hose to refill the uh, reservoirs. Either it's a five-gallon bucket or usually a five-gallon bucket or maybe a three-gallon bucket, something like that. Um, but then you have to jam the hose in there and hope it doesn't come out. And you have to hold the thing on and do all that kind of stuff. But here is a design um, that I really like. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And I just put it together today. So basically, this is just half inch XPBC. Obviously, it's got two little L's on there. Um, and then it has an a, a adapter that goes from half inch to a normal size hose. These are, I left the label on here so you guys can actually see it. Um, I'll put it up around here. So it's a half inch slip to a three quarter inch um, irrigation adapter. I don't know if you guys can read that, but yeah, it's an irrigation adapter. They sell these at Lowe's. I'm sure they sell them at Home Depot, probably Ace Hardware, all kinds of places. And then this is just an on-off switch um, that we got at Walmart because it's like a couple bucks cheaper than at Lowe's. Everything's cheaper at Walmart pretty much if you can get it there rather than Lowe's. But um, obviously they don't have as much of the specialty tools, especially for irrigation. And, you know, this is really designed for um, pretty much the, like, sprayer heads for, like, auto watering systems for your yard um, so that way you can run PVC to the hose and all that good stuff and this is just another hose adapter so you can just screw that right on the hose so it basically it's an on off switch I'm one of the go those guys who uh, would just try to turn on the hose and then run over and have it in the right spot and then run back over to the hose and make sure it turns off in the right time but I think it's worth the extra two dollars to go ahead and have the on off switch right here and it makes life much easier and a lot less likely that you're going to go ahead and flood stuff. Plus, it's kind of fun to play with this little on-off switch. You need to push it around. Um, but, yeah, so this probably cost, I think, let's see, $2 here, uh, $2 here. This You can get 10 feet of this half inch for, like, 2 or $3. I think it's $3. So, uh, like, $6. And then basically what you do is you just put that up, hook it onto your bucket, turn the, power the water on, let it fill up and then just turn it back off, move on to the next one rather than have to deal with the hose and squeezing it on and locking it and hopefully it doesn't pop out or anything like that. I know I always have to deal with that kind of stuff. Um, but I think it's going to be great. Um, the little slip adapter thing, I did put some silicone around it just so that way it doesn't leak or launch off or anything. I didn't really want to make it permanent if I didn't end up working perfectly. So I just used silicone because if you use that, uh, cement for pvc it's definitely not going to come off in any reasonable way whereas the silicone i can just cut it off and then it'll just pop right off um so yeah this is a design i stole from or i, I copied um from a few different collections i've seen it seems like a really good idea i finally went ahead and remembered while i was at the store to grab the pieces and it probably takes uh under five minutes to put it together you just got to cut these pieces in the right length I mean, this is kind of just a guesstimate of what I did. I did like two feet and then I did like 10 inches here and maybe six inches here. Just so that way I felt like that was about the right length. Uh, you can obviously adjust that for your own purposes, depending on the reservoir. Obviously you want this long piece to be the part that's gonna hang off of the side. You might have to make this a little shorter. It really doesn't need to be that long. Just that way it actually stays in there. It doesn't fall off. Same with this, you could make that a little shorter or longer um, depending on what you're using. Um, but obviously you want to have clearance to get in there and whatnot. And I think this is a really good idea. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions or things that you've noticed or better ways that you think that you've, uh, come up with a design to, uh, go ahead and fill your reservoirs, um, for your rodent colonies, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear them. And if you find that this is really useful to you, feel free to comment and let me know. Cause I love to hear if it actually is beneficial to you guys. Uh, when I share stuff like this. But um, I think that's about it. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment. Um, I'll try to answer them. Um, lots of fun stuff to play with on here. Um, <laughs>
but yeah i think that's about it uh definitely check out what we have available on limpingexotics.com nothing related to this but lots of exotic animals and stuff like that if you just like to look at pictures or anything like that but yeah there you go guys thanks for watching have a great day